Hey guys, it's Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to, you know, how to be the best Champions player, in a sense. How can you maximize your skill level to be some of the best Champions players? I'm going to explain to you what some of the best players do and what makes them the kind of the skill level that they are. Well, for one, let me tell you this, they know their skill level of play, and they know other skill level of play, so they play a different style against that. If there's somebody who I think can combo me, I'm going to go avoid, um... I'm gonna go Void Major, like Hope Post Knight, or something that lets me not take knockback so I can send up to them. There's no shame in that. Guys, that's outsmarting somebody. Now, what other people might call newbie is also something that can help you be a really good Champions player. I'm not ashamed to do something like that. I'm not ashamed to run a Hold Post Knight against people who are good. Why Why should you, man? Like, I'm not ashamed to run a kit like this. Um. God, come here. I'm not ashamed to run a kit like this, and I'm going to be running this now, actually. This is a good kit, in my opinion. It's a uh, whole post one, so I can rack up Vengeance without taking too much damage. Again, this kit has lots of counters, so don't just be running around, uh... Don't just be running around trying to dominate with it, because you, there's plenty of counters to it. This is just my Rip as a Knight counter, because this is all people run nowadays. Or at least one of them, anyway. I try to burst them down before... They can really do anything to me, um... And that's a really good kit, so... Again, with champions, make sure you play smart. You have to play smart. You won't be a good player if you don't know what, like the you don't know certain counters for certain skills. You don't know what certain players are playing. Like this guy's running Inferno. I should really consider either a dodging it, obviously. Oh shit! Uh, there's looks appears to be a three v one incoming. Please don't have Ice Prison. Okay, that's better than Ice Prison. Not a bad kid actually. Want any more free? Miss my hill smash. So I'm gonna hold post and then I'm gonna get in the water while I have hold post on this guy. Dropped him quick. Okay, that's good. So this gets really offensive. So um, I need to know when to play. I need to be able to back out of fights and um, make sure I get, like, my full offensive potential. And if somebody's, like... Because, look, it's a night kit, guys, but it'll still get dropped pretty fast. Um, again, play smart. I cannot stress that enough. The best champions players all play smart. If the player hold posts, they're going to be bailing. They don't want to mess with that. Like, even though whole post needed to get nerfed. If there's a guy spamming evade and viper strikes, you just leave him alone. Because there's not much you can do. Or you're going to switch your kit to run piercing skills like Hilt Smash, Rope Dax Throw, which is really bad right now, sadly. Use other stuff like that. It's the whole champion's player is not just an amazing PvP -er. Th That's not the case. I, I mean, Ar Rally himself has told me he's not the best PvP, -er, but he will outsmart you on about 9 out of 10 times. So that's what makes him a good player. And that's, in my opinion, what makes Nautilus a good team, because we have the balance of skilled players and knowledgeable players, and we also have players who are a little bit of both, which is where I would put myself in there. Because I might not be able to run at somebody and combo them every single... I mean, of course, I can combo people. I'm not Evs with his 13 MS or something, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. But, you know, I can hold my own, and I use that with my smarts, with my skill timings. I stack my skills well, and that really puts me above a tier of players, in my opinion. So that's what you guys really need to learn, and I can tell you that from experience, is that you got to learn how to stack your skills. Of course, there's a group of you guys who already know what you're doing, and you're fine. You don't even need this video. This is just for more for the people who, you know, are really new to the game and just need some help here and there. Um, so in order to become a really good Champions player, I will, you, you, pretty much, you need to know every skill. Every skill, what it does, some potential counters to those skills, and how you're going to outplay them. If there's a guy coming at me with Dwarf Toss, Seismic, guess what I'm going to run? I'm going to run Breakfall, because that really neutralizes both of those skills, you know? I'm not even going to hold pose. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's say hi. Let's say hi to these guys. Y'all want to say hi to my next episode? Recording now. Hope that made them happy. Hi. <laughs> well, they say hi. Um, these guys are well on their way to becoming the best champions player. So you guys watch this. You guys now know what you got to do to be some of the best and beat some of the best. Uh, this actually might not be recommended. I don't even know what this is. This is just... This is actually a guide. <laughs> so... So I can stand up to this guy. That's not going to... Oh, my God. Okay, that... Okay, I don't even know how I just hit him there, but yeah, I, I hit him with Swordsmanship 3. So, uh, I can't. Um, I was at, what was I at, like, 5? Or something? I don't know. Oh, I'm not a bull charge. Come here. 
Come here, or this is this is a really good kit for a void mage. You will wreck a void mage with this kit. This is a great void counter because you're running swordsmanship vengeance. Oh Jesus, owie! You're running swordsmanship vengeance. Yeah, look at this. See how I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking of ways to damage a skill. Void relies on energy, so you're gonna want to do a lot of burst damage fast or like high damage outputs because void only reduces four energy a hit. So you could do like a ten damage hit and it would do standard damage to them, right? Um, again. <laughs> you got to think like that for every kit, and uh, eventually it'll become like a passive way of thinking to you, and that's how it is for me. I see somebody running a kit, be like, okay, so this is what I can run to counter that. And um, think like that, guys. Think counters. This is a game of counters. Oh, come here. Let's just use that just in case. Watch the Fisher. Got him, okay. That was good. That was good. And also, of course, stack your skills well. If you haven't watched that, watch that video. The best champions players balance smarts with skill. Pick fights that you're going to win. If you're going to lose the fight, go find someplace else where you're more likely to win. There's no shame in running, guys. Do not run. Oh, wait, no, I got that backwards. Do not be ashamed to run. People can call you noobs, but if they're calling you a noob for running, then they're, they themselves are champions noobs. They don't know how to play the game, honestly. Um, buddy, you're going to find out. You'll find out when I upload. Smell my face. There we go, man. It's sword. It's swordsmanship three, vengeance three, hilt or uh, hold position one, hilt smash five. Are you are you doing? What what am I doing? Ah, whoa. Come here. Oh, I hear that hilt smash. Yeah, if you guys want to counter an ammo mage, hit him with slowness. <laughs> um. Uh, I I don't know. Hold on a second. And let's just ping him back there. <laughs> yeah, guys with hold posts. I've got like 550 subs. Like 550 right now. Um, Yeah, so guys, again, again, I cannot tell you enough. If you want to be a good Champions player, figure out what other people are running and try and find a good situation into where you can win that fight. If there's an Evade Assassin coming at me, I want to try and win. I want to go by the water. Even if my back's in the, even if I'm in the water, then, um, if I'm in the water, then the assassin really loses a lot of his mobility. Because the, what makes assassin good is its mobility. And if you take that away from it, then what has it got? It's got nothing. It's got, it's got, really, how can I help? Yeah, somebody hit this guy up with an ultra rank. <laughs> um, yeah, but think about where you can make kits less effective. For example... I can make night less effective if I'm running whole post on it. Like so. I'm just kidding, that really was a bad example. I'm running out of I'm running out of examples. I'm just kinda waiting for this video to end here because I've already told you the three main things and how to be a good champions player. It's I will summarize it for you at the end of this video and then we'll be right back once I'm done with that. So guys, be right back. Okay, so we're back and uh, let me summarize this for you. There's a, there's a couple points that I want you to take, and I want you to learn, and I want you to know I'm cold. I want you to know your skills, know what you're playing against, and know what you have. Because if you know what you're playing against, then that puts you in a distinct advantage, because you know what those skills are good for, right? If I'm going against an Immolate Fire Mage, I'm going to bring a water bottle, and I'm going to bring a slowness kit. Because with Immolate, you die fast, and if you can keep them in the same place for a relative amount of time, then they're going to drop very quickly, and it's going to be pretty easy to finish that off, right? Who are these guys? I'm an F1. So, uh, then that's what I want you to take. I want you to balance your level of skill with your, um, with your skills and your knowledge of the game. Because if you rely on one more than the other, then you're probably going to die. You have to find the perfect balance in between. Like, I know my skill. If I can go at somebody and I 1v1 them and beat them... But then if they're running hold posts, then I know I probably shouldn't do that. Even if I'm worse, even if I'm a better player than them. Come on, bro, don't ruin. Oh shoot. Uh, let's go this way. Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay, so is this guy gonna? What? Hi. Wanna say hi to YouTube? <laughs> I'm recording <laughs> the outro. Hi. Let's get a screeny. Let's get a screeny. 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 Okay, let's get a screen with dual card. Aww. Everybody say hi to dual card when you see him. Um, 
I, I want you guys to balance your skill level with your knowledge of the game. And I want you guys to please play smart. M try to utilize every single one of your skills to the maximum of your ability. Because that will put you over a slight edge over your opponent. Play to win, guys. Play to win. So on that note, that's all I got. That's how to be a good Champions player in 10 minutes. I hope that helped. And you guys, this is, okay, if you guys already know how to play the game, don't worry about this. But on that note, we made some friends today. And you guys... Peace out. See you guys later.